What's up guys? Welcome back to Redstone Engineering. This video is going to go over how to make a hidden 2x2 door that you can open and close from the outside as well as the inside, just like with most of the doors on this channel. And before you ask, yes, I did make a fake mountain just for this demonstration. So this video is going to be split up into two different designs for the door. One that works only in Java Edition, and one that works in both Java and Bedrock Edition. And the reason I'm splitting them up is because the one that is only for Java Edition is significantly easier. So if you're using Java Edition, you might as well take advantage of that rather than doing the one that also works in Bedrock Edition and spending a lot more time on it and a lot more resources on it. So with that, let's jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna start with the Java Edition exclusive design. So first we need to figure out where we wanna put the door. I'm gonna make my so-called wall right here so that the door goes through the middle right here and I'll just make this go all the way around. And I'm gonna outline the blocks that get pulled by the door itself with gold, but do whatever you want. So now we need to put the pistons in the following order. So we put four behind these blocks right here so that when these are extended, then the blocks are pushed where they are. And then when these pistons are contracted, these blocks move here. And then we put another set of four pistons right here so that they're one block away so that again, when they're extended, they go to these blocks right here. And then we do the same thing on the other side so that we have this configuration right here. Next, we need to hook up all of the redstone to the pistons. So I'll start on this side. And because this is a Java edition, we can just put repeaters like this. And we need to make these a delay of three. And that's because these need to contract after these contract. So these will be delay of zero and these will be delay of three. And likewise, those will be a delay of three. Then we put redstone here and we take this upper block here take it up one more block here, and then we need to put a transparent block here. And this is because quasi-connectivity will actually power this piston if this is not transparent, and then that will break it because it'll go sooner than it should. We put the rest on there, and then we put opaque blocks up here, and this will be part of your ceiling, so whatever you want your ceiling to be can go up here, and as long as it is opaque, then it should work. And that's because it needs to power these pistons right here. And actually by quasi-connectivity powers these ones as well. We again put glass here, we put these here, go up, go up one more. Put repeaters here, delay of three, redstone here. And then one of these sides, and I'll do this side, will hook up to your lever. So I'm just gonna put my lever here, but you can move it wherever you need to, and you can do it on the other side or whatever you want. And now, believe it or not, you're actually done. So one quality of life thing I like to do is add a lever on the inside so that you can open and close the door from the outside as well as the inside because just practically that is what you'd want. So in order to do that, we have to make this lever not attached directly to the redstone that attaches all the pistons. So I'm going to move this here or something and you can put this wherever you want as long as the inputs to everything is the same and as long as the signal reaches, you can move anything wherever you want. I'm gonna bring this over and I'm actually gonna make this go underground so that we can loop the other signal around and go over it. So let's bring this over. And the way we make this work is we do an XOR gate. And I'm actually gonna do a different version of the XOR gate than I usually do. Cause I usually do the redstone torch version of it, which is a lot more chunky. I'm gonna do the comparator version. So if you don't wanna use comparators, you can check out one of the logic vi gate videos or one of the other door videos. So the comparator version, what it does is it takes two repeaters like this. You put two opaque blocks here. You do redstone like this. You put comparators here and you put them in subtract mode so that this torch up here is on. And then you just attach these two and then you attach these two so that this is your configuration. And then you put a repeater up here. And there has to be a repeater up here because these are a really weak signal strength. But then our outcome is the same as the other version where when both are off, it's off. When one input is on, it's on. When the other input is on, it's on. And when both inputs are on, it's off. So then we take this signal and we just loop it all the way back over to here. And I'm gonna put a repeater here so that it reaches all the way to the other side because it has to do that, of course. And then what we can see is that now we can open and close the door from both sides. So we open it and then on the other side we can go and close the door so that we can close the door from inside our base, which is what we would want. So that is the full version of this design. All right, so now onto the Bedrock Edition friendly design. And this design works in Java Edition too. 
It's just in Java edition, you might as well use the Java edition design. So it starts the same. So first we need to take our wall and I'll take my wall to be here. And then the door will be here. And I'm going to use gold for that so that we know where the door is going to actually pull out. And it starts the same again. So we put pistons in this configuration. So we've got four pistons behind these gold blocks right here. So that when these are extended, then these blocks are where they are. And then when it contracts, these gold blocks move here and I'll just put them here. And then we put four pistons here for the same purpose. So that when they're extended, they go to these blocks. And then we put four pistons here so that when they're extended, they go to these blocks. So we have this configuration right here. Next, we need to hook up the redstone to all of the pistons. This is when the Bedrock Edition version gets a little bit more complicated because we can't just do this on both sides because this will only power the top piston. So what we need to do is we need to hook up redstone like this. And actually these don't go there. And we need to cut it off like this so that basically these redstones are all facing into the pistons. And this needs to be here even though we don't put anything on top of it. And then what we do is we put repeaters here and we do a delay of three. And then we put redstone here, we put redstone here, and we use glass to bring up the redstone so that all of them are connected. And then what we do is we bring up the redstone here too. Actually, I'll leave that there. And then we bring this all the way across and we do the exact same thing. So we do a repeater here with delay of three, repeater here with delay of three, repeater here with delay of three, and then we do redstone, 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 and then we cut that off. We then hook all these up again. We use glass to bring this up. And then we bring this up again. And then we just take the redstone from over here and we just bring it all the way over here. And we attach it like that. And then we put the redstone here so that it powers these top two pistons as well. So I'm using a Java edition right now. So because of that, I need to make this block that's right above this piston glass because otherwise what will happen is it will power this block above the piston and because of closet connectivity it'll actually power the piston if you're in bedrock condition you don't need to do this this can remain whatever block that you want but if you're using java edition with this design this still has to be glass just like the java edition design had to be so just be aware of that and now we need to hook up the bottom pistons because there's no quasi connectivity in bedrock edition so this actually happens to work in Java edition, but because this is a Bedrock edition friendly one, we need to add stuff on the bottom to power these two bottom pistons. So what we can do is we go below by three blocks and we put torches here. So that is so that we don't have to have torches immediately like right here so that when you're walking through, you have a floor because you want to have a floor as you're walking through. So this would be your floor. Then you have torches here. We put repeaters here and then we bring this to our signal that's on this side. And this is going to get a little bit more complicated just because we have to make a logic gate for the input levers anyways. So we're going to do that first before we actually hook this up just because it makes it where overall the delays of everything is faster. So in order to make it where we can activate the door from both the outside and the inside, we need to be able to use both levers on the inside and the outside, of course, and to do that is using an XOR gate. So what we do is we take the lever on the outside, which is this one, and I'll bring it over here. I'm going to make it go underground. And then we have the lever on the inside, which I'll just put here, but it can go wherever you want. So yeah, this can go anywhere you want, as long as the inputs and the outputs of the circuits are the same. I'm just doing it this way because it just works with my setup here. So bring this over and then I'm going to put this over here so that we can get to this signal. And then what we do is we continue bringing it up first. So the way we do this XOR gate, and I'm actually going to do it in a different way than I usually do, because I'm going to do it with comparators because it's faster. So if you don't want to use comparators, then what you can use is just torches. So make sure you watch the logic gates video or another door video if you want to do that, because this design uses comparators. So what we do is we do two repeaters. You do two blocks that are right after the repeaters. You put redstone across that. You put comparators here and you put them in subtract mode so that the torch is on, on top of it is on. You put redstone here and you put redstone here so that it looks like this overall. We then put a repeater here so that we can strengthen this signal because the output signal is on, but it's very, very weak. So if you just use dust, it'll run out. 
So we put a repeater there, we bring this all the way over to our thing over here, and we need to attach it to this signal up here as well as attaching it to this, but we need to do it in a really specific way. So we put a repeater here with a delay of two, and this delay of two offsets the delay of two that happens here, because one from the torch, one from the repeater, so that they go at the same time in the relative delay of the top and the bottom pistons are zero. And then we take the signal before the repeater and we bring it down. And what we actually need to do is invert it one more time. So I actually need to do a delay of three to offset it properly. So we do a delay of three here, sorry. And then we do a torch here to offset the inversion happening here. And then it should work perfectly fine. So I'll do it from the outside so that we can see it easier. So it's closed and then you flip that and it opens and then you go inside and then you can close the door again. And this XOR gate allows us to use both levers independently and it'll open and close the door so that you can walk into your base when the door's open and close it and then close it on the inside and then open it from the inside, so on and so forth. So this is the full design of this door. All right, that'll be it for this video. I hope the tutorial was clear in that if you decide to build it, everything works fine. If it is a little bit confusing, then you can ask questions in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.